Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Lay. I'm a professor at Oklahoma State University and uh, thank you for joining us for Hydration Theater. What this is is, a, uh, is an event I do every year to try to get my students involved, to help them learn more about, uh, about uh, 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 hydration of uh, cement with water. Uh, so let me give you a couple of why are we doing this. Uh, first of all, people learn in different ways. Some people are auditory learners, some people are visual learners, and some people just really have to, have to be experienced something, have to ha get their hands on it. And this is where I'm trying to bring the experience to the students, trying to make them learn in, in new ways, to kind of touch everyone. Um, I have a first, I have a short disclaimer up front. This is a version of the story, you know, like as all stories, uh, we, is where what actually happened and then there's the kind of the way you tell the story. I've tried to make this as technically accurate as I can. I've likely left out some small details that, I, that, uh, that, that may or may not be important. The idea is this is to be fun and this is to help people learn and learn about the main ideas about uh, cement hydration. Um, and it's also meant to be followed along with the attached sheets. I have the attached sheet right here, which hopefully you'll have access to while you're watching this, where we show how the ions change with time um, in, in uh, solution, basically calcium and silica. We talk about the uh, different stages of hydration and, and how they change with time, the uh, rate of heat release that occurs with time, and then some nice cartoons that shows what's happening on the surface of the cement grain itself. Hopefully you won't need those is because you will be with us experiencing hydration firsthand. Um, so there we go. Uh, the, the people that we'll be talking with, that, that my students will be the molecules, will be acting out the hydration, but we also have some global view, kind of a multi-scale view of what's going on. I'm showing this little Easter egg as a cement grain. Um, we'll be using some other props too to show kind of a global idea. So you'll be kind of seeing what's happening uh, on a micro, nano, super small level, then you'll be seeing, seeing it, what's happened on a micro scale level as well. Kind of interesting. Um, first thing is, is I'm going to talk about the cement hydration itself. We're going to be mainly focusing on C3S hydration, uh, which is alite. It is uh, uh, the primary agent we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about, um, uh, we're not going to be talking much about C2S hydration, which is B-lite. It's not as major player early on, not as significant, but is one of the phases that's in, um, in cement. We're not going to be talking much about C4AF, which is iron, another, major, uh, another minor phase, but, but doesn't really play a major role in early age hydration. Um, we will be talking about C3A, which is illuminate, and, and what it's all about, and gypsum as well, the thing we add to, to, uh, to help us with set in our, in our hydration process. That will be part of our story. So first of all, I, I believe we're ready to go. I, I, um, I want to bring in our timekeeper, Father Time, Sid, um, Sid Patel here, will be showing us with the different phases, helping us count down. We're starting in phase zero. If you're on your chart following along, we are in state phase zero. We're in the very first seconds of hydration. Please, cement grain. Anika, come on in here and have a seat. Anika will be sitting in the in the in this the throne here, the seat of honor, and uh, she will be a constant throughout the hydration. She will be changing what we're talking about. We're mainly going to be talking about C3S hydration, but we will be talking a little bit about C3A hydration and gypsum. We'll get to that. Um, so we have our cement grain. We have our scale. We're at time zero. We're at zero. We, have, we haven't done anything yet. And then all of a sudden the very first step in, in hydration is mixing, right? You get the water, you add it to the cement, you start mixing it up. Water molecules, come on in. Water, come on in. The water, the water's like a horde tearing at the cement grain. Tearing, tearing, freeing ions, freeing calcium ions, freeing silica ions. They're going into solution, going everywhere. Calcium ions, silica, oh, there's the water. Okay, water, thank you so much. The water is still there, but we're gonna move them out of the way so we can see what's going on. The water came in, they tore off free calcium ions. They tore off silica ions, sent things, thing, these things flying off into solution. They're building, building, the levels are getting higher and higher and higher. We're at picoseconds like that now. This isn't even a true second. This is, this is hydrolysis, what happens very early on. Also water molecules, okay, my, my two water molecules, come on, my, my regulars come walking in. They come, we free the ions, they come working up. Now instead of C3S, we're changing, we're going to change to C3A. The C3A, the, the gypsum, add with the water to form some etchonite. Etchonite, please, come in, come in. Our etchonite is formed, it's actually born water molecules. Thank you so much for leaving. 
Thank you. They are actually consumed an etchinite. This is not the etchinite we usually think about. These are not the needle-like crystals. This actually might not be exactly right. This is etchinite in solution. We don't really know what it is, but it's in solution. And it's kind of swimming around, kind of flowing around. And we're going to have it flow kind of off to the side as it's here from now in, until some point in the future. Etchinite crystals, please flow this way. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that very much. So we, we have these etchinite stuff that's formed in solution. We're still at time zero. And then ions build and build and build, get higher and higher and higher levels. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we start to change from time zero, from stage zero to stage one. Thank you so much, Sid. Please change to stage one. 